your physique and personality are key to sexual attraction. They're key to S appeal, okay? And don't mind me, guys, while I'm drinking my Starbucks. I'm very Caucasian, right? But the thing about it is a lot of guys um, try to make women seem like they're complex and all of that stuff. Well, hey, as humans, we're all complex. This is true. We're all very complex. But some things, at the same time, we're very simple creatures, too. And um, I'm going to get right into it. This is Terry Talks. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. So let's sit down and talk about this because a lot of uh, videos on the internet will have you make it seem like it's just this complex type of... It's, it, it's really not complex, guys. It really isn't complex. Personality and your physique are key to sexual attraction. And to be honest with you, a lot of these young ladies, right, uh, they, they're... It's not hard nowadays, guys. I promise you it's not hard. And even even for guys that aren't in shape and even for guys that, you know, aren't even aren't best aren't the best physique, like they're not gonna win any kind of physique competition anytime soon. They're out here getting play too. Cause these chicks, I mean, they're out here and it's you know, it's kind of easy nowadays because they're just out in the open with it. Okay. But having that physique is going to give you an, an edge. It's going to give you an edge in the dating market, I guess, if that's what you're trying to do. And even if you're not dating, even if you are in a relationship, some of my guys have relationships that watch me and that's that's fantastic. That's fine because at some point, uh, roaming the streets is going to get old. You know what I'm saying? And um. In any case, you need to have that physique and personality. So these young ladies out here, they are liberated more than ever, right? So it's really not that hard. But like I said, when you have that physique and you have somewhat of a personality, you, <laughs> you have an edge in the game because most guys aren't even in shape. Most guys are extremely out of shape. And by just by you just being relatively in shape, you don't um, have to be 0% body fat or 5%. It, I don't know where the hell these numbers are coming from. Like, per, And some of these guys try to make shit so sci scientific. Like, oh, you have to be 0 0.056 is the perfect. Bro, it's, it's not that deep. Once again, once again, it is not that freaking deep. As a matter of fact, it's okay to have just a bit of fat on you, right? Just a little bit of plumpness, but you still want to be solid. See, that's the thing. Women love uh, solid looking men. They love men that have a solid physique, meaning he looks like he is a man, right? He looks like he is somewhat strong. He looks like he is somewhat fit, that kind of got some mass on them, right? Because as men, we love women that are uh, softer, okay? We go for women that are soft. We go for women that are, are kind of petite. Some of my guys are uh, chubby chasers, right? Nah, I'm just playing. Let me not use that word. But some of my fellas like the, the, the thicker girls, right? The thick girls, as we say in the South, thick girls. And they like women that have more uh, bone or temp, more meat on their bone. Not bony, nah. They don't like that. They like women with a little bit of, of padding. And even then, they still want the woman to be soft. They don't want no chick to be super swollen, super hard, right? Why is that? Because, hey, look, that's how nature is. On the flip side, women love the complete opposite. They love men that are hard. And when I say that, it's a double entendre. They love men to be hard physically, and they want men to be hard when, you know, time, time, and when it's time to, to get down with the get down type of deal. Then you paired up with personality. And as far as personality goes, guys, you don't even just holding a just knowing how to hold a simple convo is enough. Because when you are attractive, right, when you got your physique on point, when you when you got all this on point. A simple, that, that's going to carry you over. All you need to do is have a simple conversation. Just have a conversation that flows. 
because a lot of guys, their personality isn't there. And um, a lot of these videos are going to tell you that personality doesn't matter. I'm here to tell you guys, first of all, those dudes are not experienced. Second of all, it absolutely does matter. It absolutely does matter. Because one thing that they fail to realize, and this is how I know that they don't, that they're not very experienced. One thing they don't realize is that women connect emotionally on an emotional level as well. So you need to have that conversation and, um, you know, be somewhat, have something in common, something that you guys could vibe to, something that you guys could talk to. That's all personality is. Personality is being someone that is, uh, you know, just someone that you could relate to. Someone that you could relate to. And by you having like a nice, chill, laid back personality, that's 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 it. That's all you need. Because a lot of guys, they take it to an extreme and they try to put on this um, fake alpha male, tough guy persona. And let me tell you something, man. Women see right through that shit. Women see right through that shit. And they say, you know, just be yourself. There's a reason for that, because if you try to put on some kind of fake ass, tough, tough guy persona, tough guy alpha male, they're going to see right through that. They're going to be like, man, this dude, he's, he's capping. He capping. He's trying too hard. He's trying way too hard with this whole alpha. He, he doesn't watch too many YouTube videos. That's what they're going to think. He, they're going to be like, he watched too many of these alpha male, alpha red pill videos, and now he's taking off and running with it. Uh, if you have a more... You know, I don't want to say goofy, but more funny uh, personality. Let that shine, man. The only thing is, don't uh, start acting like a doormat. See, that's the thing. It's not about trying to act like a tough guy. You can still be a, a gentle and kind man and still not take shit, right? You can still be a guy that likes to crack a joke or two, likes to have fun if you're fun loving. If that's your personality, let that shine, man. If you like to do things like go go kart ride racing and all that, hell, that women are gonna love that. The chicks that you're with, they're gonna love that. Who knows? They might like that shit. They like they might like anime stuff like that. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you gotta be some kind of doormat because just because you're fun loving doesn't mean that you're a doormat. You can still have rules and boundaries. If if she starts disrespecting. Yeah, that's when you let that um sort of a-hole side shine. But if you both of you guys are having fun, she's respecting you, bam, that's it. And then you couple those two things together, you got your physique and you got your personality. And that's S appeal right there. That's the sexual attraction. You're gonna see the you're gonna see a side of that chick that a lot of men don't. You know, between you and the average guy she runs across, you're gonna see a lot of her. Uh, more freakier side and more more of her open side. She's going to open up to you because a lot of problem, one of the major problems that a lot of guys run into is that the women that they interact with are always closed off. They feel like the woman is in a clan, right? In regards to she's closed off or in the, in the sense that she's closed off like a clan. Well, that's because, first of all, she's not really attracted to you, right? Especially attracted to you. And second, it could just be the personality aspect. And hey, look, it's okay. You're not gonna you're not gonna vibe with every chick. Not every chick is gonna is going to want to hang out with you. Not every chick is gonna find you attractive. Not every chick is gonna find what you find to be entertaining. And that's quite all right. You have to find a chick that likes you. Like I said, a huge part of personality is finding a chick that is in tune with you. Like if she likes video games, you like video games, bam. If she likes an anime, you like anime, things of that nature. I'm just giving you guys an example. I'm just giving you guys an example. If you like to crack jokes, she likes to crack jokes, bam. And you know what? Looks, as far as the looks people goes, I'm not going to sit here and say that it doesn't count for anything. I'm not going to say that whatsoever. But you should not be so reliant on it. That's why I put personality in the title as well. Because you should not be reliant on just your looks alone. That's going to get you, but all so far, that's going to get you 
uh, that's not going to get you as far as you can go. Because that whole looks thing and all that, that's more for females, dog. To be honest with you, that's really more for females. When I say physique, that means you look strong. You look solid. That's something that's manly. But as far as looks and having your eyebrows done and your fucking mascara on and having the perfect jawline, and that's, that's very feminine. Okay? It's very feminine to care way too much about your looks. Anyway, with that being said, hope y'all enjoy the video. Peace.